This is Pranav Gohar Thakurta from Edu TV, the first education channel dedicated to uplift education in Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, Middle East, and Africa. In principals, educationists, learners, and ours, favorite program. It's a matter of principles. Today, our guest is Mrs. Seema Sharda, principal, Vantage Hall Girls Residential School, Dehran. She has got a very impressive profile. Ms. Seema is a passionate educationist. She holds postgraduate degrees in English and geology and a bachelor's degree in education. She also has a postgraduate diploma in school leadership and management. She is founder teacher and now the principal of Vantage Hall Girls Residential School, Dehradun. She has taught at various reputed schools throughout the country, such as the Assam Valley School, Tejpur, and BGS International School, Delhi. She had the opportunity to observe and draw from the educational practices in the US and Spain. As the principal of a girls' residential school, focus is on individual development of her students, helping them grow with love and care into strong women of tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Pr Pranav. Thank you for the lovely introduction, kind introduction. And thank you for inviting me to your show. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ma'am, I would like to have your advice for both residential and day schools. What is your advice for the students who will be writing their examination in 2023, who will be passing out in 2023? Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Pranav, for your kind uh, introduction and thank you for inviting me to your show. Um, your question that my advice for grade 12 students, um, these students are in the last year of their school. It's a very crucial year for anybody uh, who's in grade 12. They are to transition into a new life. New portals of life await with a lot of promises for them. Uh, but this uncertainty, you know, they don't know which college they're going to get into does create some anxiety and then the pressure of board examination. Also, let's not forget that this batch has not appeared in grade 10 board examination. So this is their first time that they're going to write a board examination. Though we uh, teachers and parents, we need to tell them that board examination is like any other examination. But because of the value that is associated with these examinations, these students are bound to be anxious. Then they have other competitive examinations to write, like CLAT, JE, NEET, IELTS, CUET. So there is a lot of pressure on these students. Some pressure will always remain because it's a competitive world and they need to do well in these exams. They're very important examinations. But I think we can reduce the stress and if I have to give any advice to these students, my first and the most important piece of advice would be that understand the concepts, not just try to learn them because rote learning will not take you far. And even the pattern of the examinations has changed. It's more towards testing their competencies. So uh, understanding the concept is very important. And if you ask me, one is yes, you when you understand, you know, when you when your teacher is teaching you, you try to understand. Another way of understanding a concept and remembering it for a very long time is to discuss. I'm a firm believer that discussions in the class, outside the class, with the teachers, with the peer group, helps a lot and makes the learning permanent. We are a boarding school and our children spend a lot of time together discussing. So that does help to the uh, boarding school students, the discussions and teaching each other, each other. So collaborative learning kind of makes your learning permanent and it's easier. Once you know your concept, you're more confident of writing your exams. Another piece of advice uh, would be that stick more to the book study material. Why I say this is because Digital learning, you know, it's, it's an information overload. 
So sometimes students do waste a lot of time in culling out important information. And the biggest drawback is that it's a big distraction for the students once they have the mobile or a device with them. So they cannot resist to see that notification and then answer to that message. So I would say that, you know, stick more to uh, the book resources. There are wonderful digital resources. And in this time and era, you cannot do without them, but limit them. Do I am Harshini Sudarshan. I am a grade 12 student studying at Delhi Public School, Bangalore East. For those of you who are watching, um, at EduTV, we are having um, a program where we conduct talks and interviews between students and university outreach heads in order to find out more about the colleges that we want to join in um, and what these colleges and universities are offering to us. So all of this between a university outreach head and a student in order to get, get answers to questions that every student like me has. So we're inviting all university um, outreach heads and students to tune into this. EduTV is also having a taster program. And some of you may know what it is. It is just to get a taste of college life. So students are taken on a visit to the university or the college premises to get a taste of what is actually college life in those three and four, three or four crucial college um, years of your life. So you get to know about placements, job opportunities, careers of the future, what the college or the university has to offer to you, how campus life is in general. So that's what EduTV has to offer to us. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining with us. Thank <laughs> you.